In this video I'm going to show you how to tweak Ubuntu to make it a little less bloated. Now I don't actually use Ubuntu but someone's requested that I do this so I'll show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is launch Synaptic. And when you click search type sysv-rc-conf and when it comes up right click it and click mark for installation. It's already installed on this one. Well, this is still close on Aptic and launch the command line. You're going to want to maximize it first, and because it's Ubuntu, we have to use sudo, so sudo sysv rcconf. And there you go, there's everything that's running on the computer at startup. I've already tweaked mine, but for example, Bluetooth, if it's enabled, will have crosses on each run level that it's enabled. So just press spacebar to wipe them out, and then that's disabled now. For example, I don't need fan control, so let's unmark it, and there you go, it's gone. I don't want kernel oops running, so that's that's gone as well. Now, obviously, don't copy what I'm doing. Look it up on Bing or Google or something, and make sure that you're disabling things that you don't actually need. When you've made up your mind on what you want to disable, press Q to quit, and type exit. You'll probably have to reboot after doing this, especially if you've disabled anything that comes on with a computer. Alternatively, or in addition to this, if you want to disable more things, go to System Preferences, Startup Applications, and again, uncheck everything you don't need. This will just free up some more resources. And it's rather pointless running things that you don't need anyway. You won't have to reboot for this, just simply log out and log back in again. And close that. That's really all there is to it though. It's rather simple to just tweak it up a bit. I mean, what I usually do is, though, I usually go into Synaptic and this is for Debian as well click the status thing so all the install packages are at the top and just start removing them one by one everyone that I don't need or you can multiply select them the thing with multiply selecting them is though with the dependencies the way they are on apt and the way that the package maintainers have done this you will probably end up removing something that you actually need so be really careful when you're removing packages and I don't recommend that you do it unless you're an experienced user anyway that's just a quick tweaking video and if you want any other how to's or hints or anything just send me a message or comment below this video and we'll set something up for you anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video